classic story for two years. We had a market leading software that was there. I didn't like it, wanted to change, couldn't get it changed. Political reasons came out of my own company. Here we are, three years after I left. Cash is growing every year about 7 and 10 percent. And, and I, I discovered, two, two weeks into my job at the Commonwealth Bank, I discovered that basically cash is not a financial services problem, it's actually a logistics problem. And I told my, told my boss, you should get somebody else because I am not a logistics person. He said, I'm sorry, you search for six months, you are it, go figure it out. If you look at, if you look at the, com the cash cycle, it's extremely complex. There is nothing else like cash in terms of logistics because cash is the only thing that doesn't get consumed during the cycle. Everything else gets consumed, but not cash. So to solve this problem properly, you need to actually get an ecosystem going and optimization that, that optimizes for everybody within the entire cash chain. There's a, there's a lot of cost in moving cash, and a lot of this is borne by the, by the, by the central bank but also bought by different people within the value chain, right? There's lost potential revenue for idle cash, there's insurance limit, processing, excess transportation, and excess cash out. There's a lot of cash that runs around in, 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 the, in, the, in, the, in the economy today, and a lot of it is just idle cash. The CBA, for example, has about, at any one point in time, plus $600 million in all its brand for the ATM. And, and I, I reckon at least 10 to 15 percent is unnecessary. It's just there because the bank managers are like you and I. We have too much cash in our wallet. The only difference is it's a much bigger problem in a bank. So what do we do? It, when, you, when you see the, the planning for cash today, you see that it's extremely fragmented. Everybody just talks to his own little world, and nobody talks to one another. And yet, fundamentally, this is a circular logistics problem. So. Um, uh, what do we propose to do about it? We propose essentially to create an integrated information system that integrates everyone's cash data. And we spent the last three years building this suite of cash products, including building the, including building the route, trans uh, route um, uh, sequencing for the trucks as well, so that there's, there's, at any one point in time, you know exactly where the cash is. And because you have all the data in the chain, you can figure out what's the best way of optimizing the cash that's there. Now, very quickly, um, I'll, this is a picture of our software, show you that it's real. We spent three years doing it, <laughs> thank goodness that it's real. Um, and we provide essentially analytics for every, all the players in the supply chain. Now, I want to show you quickly, it's just like Scott Gold, uh, our, our key technology. We, we basically do what we call search optimization. Uh, if you look at a two weeks period for, for one ETM, possible combination of scheduling is 16,384, right? And if you were to, and, and in, in this is, is the right answer somewhere. So what we do is use a, a system called genetic algorithm to basically search for the best possible answer. Um, and it, um, for, for lowest cost, cash availability, and uh, optimize schedule. What we are looking for in Tech 23 is anyone who's hoping to fund someone like us to, to take this to the broader marketplace. We've got, I just came back from Asia, we, we're going to get uh, um, trials going in Indonesia, Malaysia, and in China as well, where the needs for this is really great and cash is still a large part of the economy. Thank you very much.